Ooh, a Trump flag. Boy, do I like Donald Trump. I think I see something cool. You see, that's my opinion. That this is cool. And it's also my opinion that I think I can ride up it and get out of this car's way. Hi, car. But what isn't my opinion is whether or not I actually can make it up. That's either a fact or no, it's not. And what we're going to do now is to help us learn to distinguish between facts and opinion. I'm going to try and make it up, so I'm going to start on this easy one. I'm really not too worried about. Alright. Not too bad. Now this other one... It's going to be tough. It's going to be scary, actually. Going down is probably going to be more scary. All right, here we go. Oh man! Ooh. All right, so we found another fact. Fact: I can ride up that hill. Give you an idea how steep that was. My knee hit the handlebar. Alright, so that's a good way to start the, the vlog on facts versus opinions, more specifically, why your opinions don't matter and neither do mine. So either it's a fact that I can make it up the hill, or it's a fact that I can't make it up the hill. So if someone would have asked me what my opinion is on whether or not I can make it up the hill, before I had done it, before I had any way of knowing, I would have had to say, I don't know because if I had an opinion on whether or not I could make it up without really knowing whether or not I can make it up that opinion would not be worth much so the same sort of thing applies when someone asks you about some important political issue and you try and give them your opinion on it it doesn't mean much so rather than offer your opinion, what you should try and do is offer the truth and then maybe offer evidence and facts to back that up, if you can. Road closed. Well, I'm no scoundrel, so I'll leave it be. And after thinking about it, that's what I have to say about opinions. Just be careful when you say the word opinion. So let's think about... Let's think about when we hear people tell us their opinions when it comes to politics. So a lot of people, they'll have an opinion on... the border wall and you'll ask them what do you think of the border wall and it is true you're asking them their opinion but since you're asking them what you think you ought to already know that what their answer is is only going to tell you about them not about the border wall and of course their response will be I think the border wall my opinion is that the border wall something like that something that means nothing but I'll stop boring you with that and we'll get to some really interesting stuff here in a minute so just so you know this is about attempt number five on Adam trying to record this section of the moto vlog where I actually talk about politics about opinions about ideas but after this, we go on an adventure yesterday. So here in a second, I'm going to cut to yesterday, and we're going to go on a big old adventure. So I'll see you then. Peace. There's a bug in my helmet.
hopefully he makes his way out. So if I could see around this turn, that would be a nice little place to kind of dip down and go in that turn. But I would also get hit by a Ford F450 coming the other way, so not worth it to me. Let me tell you about this action mount. Me, something about me is I really like to buy stuff that's made in the USA. My gloves made in the USA, my boots made in the USA. Not much you, else you can find made in the USA that I have on me right now. But the action mount supposed to be made in the USA, so I buy it. $20, okay? On Amazon. There's bunches of other ones that are like $9 from China. And I'm like, well, I like to, uh, to support my fellow American, so I'll, I'll dish out an extra 10 for this American. I get the package. Get this. The harness. Well, okay, the actual mount where the camera is that I just stuck my hand in front of, I think. Sorry about that. Made in USA. Inside the bag that says made in the USA, there's another bag. And this bag says made in China. And it has the actual harness. So half of this thing is made in China. But they market it as made in the USA. Not cool. So, I'm going to tell you guys, if you guys are looking at getting one of these chest mounts, don't get the action mount. Save yourself 10 bucks and buy a cheap Chinese one. Because Action Mount is a bunch of lying thieves. Get some super speed going here. Yep, as you can tell, my motorcycle isn't exactly fast. But, you know what they say, it's better to ride a slow bike fast than a fast bike slow. That's a cool rock face right there. Ah, oh, the turkeys! Yes! Get back here! Get back here, turkeys! Get over here! Ah, oh, there they go, the turkeys are flying. Achievement get. That turkey is on that little branch in that tree. I thought they'd be too heavy to do that. Don't want to get that one for Thanksgiving dinner. Okay, this is epic. What do you think? Think I can handle that? Well, we're gonna try. We'll give it a, we'll, I'll go in there a little bit. Maybe I'll feel it out and see. <laughs> oh crap, I'm going to get water in my boots if I have to put a foot down here. Oh shoot, what have I done? What have I done? No! Oh! No! Oh! Oh man. Well, this sucks. No. No. Little T Dub, don't do this to me. I know I was mean. No. Ah. Oh, I'm going to try and push it. <clears throat> God, that's really deep. <laughs> that is way deeper than it looks. Okay, I can move it. <clears throat> Try doing this on a 1200 GS. See if I can get it in neutral. Damn. 
it is I got into a rut I can feel it like it's only it's only a few inches deep right here <clears throat> The back end of this thing is lighter than the front end. Oh, shh. Okay. Local teen dies after drowning as his motorcycle fell on top of him. According to the coroner's report, that kid's a dumbass. According to the coroner, he was suffering from retardation at the time. Oh, that's awful. My boots are absolutely full of water. Well, I'm going to cut the video off, see if I can get this thing running. So, pulled the air filter, guess what came out, what was full of right here? That's right, gas, and I guess water too. So I didn't think about, so I thought about the air intakes up here under the seat, but the air box is here. And I believe that it might have been underwater. Also, the battery is dead. It'll barely turn over. But, yeah. I don't know if that's all gas or all water or what, but... Either way, there's only supposed to be air right there. And that's not air. So, I guess I'm just going to have to wait let it... Let it dry out. Maybe I'll try and get it to turn over a little bit and maybe get some air moving in there. I might try and tilt the bike over too and kind of get it out of there. I'm going to give that a go. Oh yeah, there's water coming out of that. <clears throat> I wasn't worried about dying in the woods. I've actually, I've even, in my pack here, I've got like three days worth of food. <laughs> but what I'm actually worried about was being late for work. And now what I'm kind of worried about is, I don't know, I don't see how they could get full of that much fuel. But yeah, there when I thought the battery was dead, it wasn't dead, the engine was, it had uh, water in the chamber, must have. But either way, we're rolling now. Time to head home. Well, boys, we did it. She's running again. The faithful T-Dub never ceases to amaze me. Almost as much as my stupidity never ceases to amaze me. But either way, I pulled a Jeremy Clarkson and somehow got it running. And we're ready to keep going on with this here moto vlog. So, I guess I'm going to try and get home so I can get ready for work and not be late. So the next bit of this moto vlog might be at a little bit higher speed. Speed and power. I'm also going to do that in the spirit of Jeremy Clarkson. See, before in the spirit of Jeremy Clarkson, I was doing manual labor. But now... I'm going to be using speed and power. That's the, that's it. <laughs> that's all the power. <laughs>
Oh, we gotta go down here. Look at that. That's a that's a good little spill there. Yeah, this is a really cool campsite down here. If you're ever on Burl's Ford Road, this is the coolest campsite on the whole thing. That's the kind of stuff you get watching this channel, guys. You learn how to work on your motorcycle. Oh no, I hope I don't drown in that. You get to work on your motorcycle, and you learn all the cool camping spots. It's everything. You learn philosophy. You learn how to think. That's what this is, guys. This is a learning channel. I'm all about the knowledge. But yeah, here you go. This is the coolest campsite on all of Bur Burl's Ford Road. So what's cool about it is, first of all, look at it. But also, the river... Not the river, that's not the, the mighty Chattooga, but it's pretty dang close. Check that out. That's awesome. Back first for this bit. Technical little bit here. I think I can make it up the hard part. Like I haven't already done enough today. Here we go. All right, home free. And of course, I came across the wild and scenic Chattooga River and I thought I'd let you guys take a look it's pretty cool look over here not bad huh I like those trees up there. Some kind of uh, duodiceous. I think that's the word. No, duodiceous is like the ones with the leaves that fall off. And then the ones that don't have leaves that fall off, that have the needles, they're called evergreens. That's another thing you can learn. Those are evergreen trees. This guy thinks I'm crazy because I'm talking, so. Burl's Ford Campground. I've never been past that gate, but apparently there's a really cool waterfall down there. That's what I hear. So definitely check that out. But something cool you'll see here, that's the Foothills Trail marker. Foothills Trail crosses right here. And I have been right here and I have walked right here because I have walked the Foothills Trail. And if you don't know, the Foothills Trail is a 76.2 mile trail that goes from Oconee State Park to Table Rock State Park or the other way around. We went from Table Rock to Oconee. It's pretty cool, but as someone who lives around here, seeing the scenery didn't really do much for me. There, there were a lot of cool places, don't get me wrong. But after like day two, I was like, okay, I'm done. Let's, let's go. This is it right here. That is all she's got. Wow. Speed and power. Slow down here. Try not to meet an F450 in the turns. You feel me?
This right here is one of the best turns ever. It's awesome. It's like you're riding on a roller coaster. We're on Highway 107 now, by the way. I've got a plan for a spooky video now that gives me an idea. 